Hey everyone, Sylvia here. I'm making this tutorial video on a website that I use called Netlify. It's a service that I'm a member of that I find really useful when hosting not just my personal sites, but any prototypes or side projects that I've done in the past. Uh, so what I use Netlify for is mainly knowing that it's supported by a global CDN uh, that any of the sites that are on there are being hosted and backed up 100% of the time. And it's really just a convenience for me as a front-end developer because I'm able to literally just update any website I have by dragging and dropping my folders. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I do with Netlify, as well as some of the features that they have that I'm using on some of my sites. All right, so I'm gonna log in here. And here you'll see how I have different microsites and websites and prototypes and stuff all saved in my dashboard. Uh, for the tutorial today, I'm just gonna go through Taskly, which is a site that I built uh, and have stored on GitHub. Uh, one of the awesome things about Nellify is I can connect any project from GitHub to Netlify. And if I wanted to, I can have it connect to Git so that any commits that I make through Git will affect the public front-facing site and just automatically update it, uh, which is useful if you're going to make a lot of commits to a project or are working on something full-time and need to update it. So that's very useful uh, to have that feature. Uh, the other awesome thing I love is the post-processing. There's uh, automatic bundling of CSS and JavaScript as well as minification. They also provide the compression of images to optimize the performance of load time on images um, and they do automatic lossless compression. So that's all that is included when you host your site on Netlify, and uh, I know I have to always remember to do this, and it's um, sometimes I forget, so that's useful. The other uh, cool thing that I've used before is the form submissions, and Netlify has this interesting uh, way of having your forms, like your contact form on a website. Um, in this case, it's my uh, personal portfolio site contact form. I had to either do this through PHP or actually do it using Netlify and have more security and uh, simplicity done on the back end with uh, knowing that, you know, anyone who does try to contact me will be able to and it will be redirected to my email uh, in a secure way. So that's useful and it's actually you can learn more about it through their documentation here. Uh, let's see, there right here. So it's called form handling and all you do is add their attribute at Lify um, into your form tag. And then from there, you can re start receiving any submissions and they have this default spam filtering feature as well. And it's just all conveniently supported when you host on Netlify, uh, which I find to be pretty awesome. There's also some custom domains if you want to add like a, a custom root domain to your website instead of it being like, uh, I'll show you right here. So instead of it being uh, like tasly.nellify.com, you can actually have it customized to whichever one uh, you want it to be. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, overall, those are the main features that I've played around with Netlify and have personally used. Again, something that I've used for not just personal sites, but like prototypes and things that I have to
quickly upload and show to someone. So you can literally just go in and drag and drop your file folder into Netlify and it'll automatically update the site without it having to SFTP or put in your login credentials. You can just log into Netlify and then drag and drop your folder. Uh, one last little feature that I actually just remembered is the history log, which if you can see here, this is a log of all of the pushes that I have on Taskly. So if I wanted to revert back to a change or download an older version of a site that I had uploaded previously, I can just go back, see what day time it was, and just literally download that file structure. And again, I'm able to republish it on Tasly just by uh, dragging and dropping it into my dashboard. So those are just some of the features I thought was useful to share with you. Again, it's a really great service to use if you are a modern front end developer that wants to support single page applications, prototyping, uh, some quick front end fix on a site or posting your own personal projects or side projects. Uh, again, there's a lot of tutorials out there that Netlify has created and there's a lot of information on some of the ways that you can use their um, services and plans. But I just wanted to create this video to give uh, more of my own personal experience and a, re a review of what I have used Netlify for. So I hope it was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, either comment below or you can also directly contact Netlify as well. I've had a great experience um, getting support from them through their live chat and I'm just really glad that I found them. So enjoy.